the amount of free spots in the rejects lineup is starting to dwindle as today we go one step further to completing our forward pack. We make our way over to the great land of Inga. That's right, England. And we are taking on the Bristol Bears for one very talented, powerful, and very lucrative back rower to join our side. Yes, I know, we're off to England. And welcome back along, everyone, to your home of rugby, where we are back with the Super Rugby Rejects. And like I said, back in the great land of England to take on the Bristol Bears. And we are looking to steal, well, we could, we could steal no one really from this team. Aside from, no, oh, Chris Vui we could take definitely would be one on the list. But aside from him, there's not too much to take from this Bristol Bears side. But Stephen Lua Tua, that is right. And he is going one-on-one -on -one with the man he's probably going to be replacing for now. We do know about Stephen Lua Tua as he is capable of in that back row most notably at six plays a little bit eight, eight as well but can cover in that second row if required of course this is the man that came through the mpc in auckland made his way up to the blues played there 75 times before moving over to the great ingera land and made his way to bristol where he has played well over 100 times since 2017 this guy has represented the All Blacks 15 times and since turned his attention back to his heritage of Samoa where he looked to cap himself there in the 2023 Rugby World Cup. This guy has got all the goods and we know as a former All Black he is going to bring us great things to our back row. As for us though at the Super Rugby Rejects we have added quite a number of players into our scene recently and of course the big names are starting to drop into this lineup i think the ford pack has skipped the average trash most of it and gone straight for the big guns guys like talfua and of course stephen kitschoff in the team as well so we look ready i think almost to take on these big guns add mr lua to into the mix and we will be i think ready to go to that next level maybe we'll see how we go today Bristol have got a very good team. However, you look at some of those players in the starting lineup, a very good back row as well. So we'll see if we can manage to pop these guys aside. And then, of course, the bench will be very crucial as we head towards the Super Rugby proper season, which should kick off. Well, I mean, are we even halfway yet? It's a while away yet. Okay, Bristol are in the red and black. And we're in the away strips today. So we're in the, the bluey, sort of blue and white... Retro Stormers kits is underway we go. Bristol King of Eras, Talfua back in the team. Finally, he's got his number. And we're going to look to play sensible rugby. We are the rejects, but we're here to win. Get in our way at your peril. That's a good kick. That is a good kick. Jimmy Gopeth on hand straight away. Of course, we've still got to get a replacement at Scrum Half as well, which I saw some good comments in the last episode or two, where we will be going... Um, to pick up a scrum half and all the next couple of episodes here is the humber speaking of scrum halves he's like don't replace me i'm amazing as he wobbles his way up a couple of meters there's lazana to ready and his gooder finding a bit of space his gooder tries to break through the middle of course this bristol side has got a very good combination in the back of the midfield as well so look out for what they can do it's helpful we're number eight tonight, bumbles a couple of meters. Quick pick and go, away for Hayson, goes early to Canetas, pops it back nicely, Lizana, Lizana number the Canetas! Oh, that is brilliant! Super Rugby Rejects at their best with a great little short side drive here. Thomas Lizana, what a magical play. Canetas started it all, he finished it off as well. Tau full of play to power game. Look at this, quickly recycled ball. Up it went perfectly fire for Fita. Lozano went too early there on the pass. The beautiful win and out. And Kanata stayed on his feet, stayed upright, and stayed in support for the try. Great work, great players, great combinations. Who would have thought? Who would have thought we would have these combos? Of course, Annie Luatua to this team as well as we concentrate for this conversion would add an almost two meter tall player to that back row line out options i'm thinking this guy might fit in very nicely in that second row as well as we have another target who i'm not going to give away 
that back row is going to be bloody good, man. It is going to be insane. Here's a fun fact for you. Luatua, his first proper name is actually Dolph. <laughs> it's five for Vita. Grabs the kickoff down. And ready goes through. Oh, nice little off there to Kinshaw. Had to jump for it. Oh, I'm calling him Dolph from now on forever as well. Here's Kanetis. Gets on the outside. But down Kanetis. Little chip over the top. Looks to ring out Can't get do so. Oh, look for the pass. Got it away eventually to Goffin. Goffin looking for support. Goes down in a heap. Oh, no. Oh, no. An injury. Jimmy Goffin. All right. Now, work to be done here because we've got Chamberlain, but that's crap. Um, I think, oh, we maybe shouldn't have gone with Chamberlain. We possibly should have gone to bring Volleyballer up in the line. Oh, we might do that despite that change. I just went quickly for a fly half. Crouch. But let's make that change anyway. I want to change this round completely. So Chamberlain is a 10. I want to bring Volleyballer up to 10 instead. No, sorry, Chamberlain. You've just come, <laughs> you've just come on the field. And I'm taking you off for Hermanus. I could have left Chamberlain on at 15, but Hermanus Bind. is a guy we know. So Chamberlain, enjoy your 30 seconds Sit. of fame. Back in the lineup. Uh, next stop at two will be off. And we'll bring Volleyballer up into the line. This Volleyballer should actually be very quickly up in there as well. Positional changes happen almost instantly. Here's his good. A good little drop off ball to Tugolet. And Tugolet tries to run away. Good chase down on the fence though. The Humber, nice little ball away to Rennie. Now, the big boys are out here. Look out, John Arfire! Of all people are going to try! John Arfire! Oh, what a man! He didn't do it from a metre out this time. He actually ran about five metres. John Arfire, what a try. And he got a fend as well. This is brilliant. I thought it might have been Stephen Kitschoff on the shoulder. Unfortunately not. But Andrew Rennie, great pass. Look at this power! Oh, ho, 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 ho. brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! And Bristol are proving to be no challenge for the Super Rugby Rejects. Well, Chamberlain is... <laughs> I mean, Chamberlain is getting his moment of glory here. He's getting a shot at goal. Uh, no Gopeth, he's still on the field. Take your two points, Chamberlain. Do what you do. He's done it well as well. Great kick. Now he's going to get subbed off. Love to see it. 14-0 rejects over the Bears, who have not even troubled us so far. Right, Hermanus is on. <laughs> well done, Chamberlain. You got us a try, mate. You got a conversion. Thanks for your contributions. Get the hell off the field. Right, we've not seen anything here from uh, Dolph Lua to it. Oh, I can't believe that's his proper name. Citation needed, surely. Here's Lozana. Drops it off nicely. Romanus is, is slow. No, it's not. It's the Humber, I mean. Quorma. The way to our fire. Who's full of running tonight? And offloading. Nicely from Hankston. It's good. Nino Williams goes early. Gives the ball and roller. Up in the back line. There's another try waiting to be scored. Mateo Canetas will not be stopped. He is too fast. What a play from the Rejects, who are flowing like a fine wine, straight out of the bottle, straight into your mouth. That is the third try. And it is one way traffic. No one is allowed to go back the other way. This is clinical stuff from the Rejects. How good. The continuity is absolutely out of this world and Bristol are getting pumped not even showing a trace of capabilities. And now we've got things sorted out. Ben Bola Bola on the team. Coming up to fly half. And hey, he was involved in that play as well. Good to see Bola Bola getting into the action. Of course, how long he'll be in the starting lineup is questionable. But of course, when the squad is complete, we've got the full Super Rugby season to come as well, which we'll see plenty of rotations and injuries as well which will take players out for time. So we have to build a good, deep squad. Back underway we go. Nice wee short one there for Rudy. Here's Fafita. Pops it back to Fua. Kiriannis looks to straighten things up. There's the man that will. Ho -ho! But he's paid the price. Short one, Korma. Oh, that's a good round from Korma. Hasten got it behind the line. Korma should have held on. 
We look back to the forwards here. Talfoa! Oh, got an offload as well. Vola Vola! Can't handle the heat. Goes to the ground. Lozano will wait. Playing scrum hub. Oh, he's rushed out there. Took a lip. Down the tram tracks he goes. Looking Advantage. to hard to knock the ball on. Fafita hacks it ahead and says that was garbage. Took a lip looking for a big kick there. Looking to put the pressure on with the chase. Didn't come to terms with that at all, but boy, that was a good rush play there on Lozana. And took a let side swipe. Does Crouch. he go over the top of the Find. fullback? Find. Remarkably Set. so, the last time Dolph Luatua played in Eden Park was the win for the Blues over the British and Irish Release. Line. Ironically enough, a forward. Getting in the action, here's Dylan Williams again. Here's Kuna, options, left, right, in and out. He goes to Kuritas. Oh, what a tackle on Kuritas. Great turnover as well. Now the Bristol Bears are in form. Now the Galumina ball. Here is the big man, rumbling his way up. Okay, now we've got something we've got to compete with. Here's Luatua. Two carries in quick succession from Luatua there. That might be close to touch, he is. Face rubbed in the dirt. And the attack there of Bristol, short lived, let's be honest, was not great. Right, Andrew ready to throw. Cormor at the front. Advantage. Oh, Nahab has knocked it on. Okay, another chance here for Bristol. That's a bit of a shame. We've, we've been looking so good during this game. Good little angle attack there as we get very close to the turnover as well. How about that? We will sit down for half time. But that was an exciting little passage there. The, the rejects are all over this game, let's be honest. It's, it's one way traffic. It's only one team in the fixture at the moment. We pick and go. We're back. Couple of nice tackles there. And Lord Saw went to ground and got pummeled. Lost the ball in the breakdown, but we are off to half time. 21 points to nil is the score. Bristol, 16% of possession. I mean, if you shut them out of the game that much, well, you are guaranteed to have a good time, surely, with 84% of the ball. Territory's been a flip side of that, but we know that the rejects can go from absolutely anywhere on the paddock. Six line breaks to two, three of them tries. Bristol with work to do in the second 40 minutes. Let's get to it. Let's get Dolphy Boy in the team. I don't care if Dolph is in his name. That's his nickname for now. It 100% is. Oh, Tukulet is on the kicking duties. Okay, that's a bit bizarre. To Ben, they really don't like Walla Walla, do they? Off we go again. Deep kick this time. Putting pressure here on the Bristol side. As that is an extraordinary run through the middle. Looking out for the options. Tukulet goes back. Oh, my word. He's, oh, he's trying to dash a pass. Feet a try. It's a try. Try to... Bristol, and just like that, they've turned the corner right around. Oh my word, that was a little bit loose, a little bit bad, and a little bit poor from the Super Rugby Rejects. Took a link on the back there, great chase. He threw the desperate ball, looking for someone. We had about five players back there. Fafita desperately tried to save it. The try has been scored. And Bristol, I hope, are not back in this game. But they could cut this lead down by seven with this attempt by Sheedy. The kick is good. Taking advantage of the errors, the rejects. We know that they are liable for some shocking things in their play. But a good kick, though, from the Bears. Put it up, put pressure on. Forced us into an error. We've got to clean that sort of stuff up, especially against these big teams. Pavita rumbling his way through on the fence. Here's some good runs. So look at that. Ridiculous. That was Chris Lilly, I think, on that rumble as well. Crystal are definitely ruining our defensive work at the moment. That is for sure. We've been tackling well so far, but now it's falling apart. Look at this. 
Well, we were sitting the first half. Now they go wide. Oh no! We've got no one really out of here. Big chase across. They won't catch it. Carrera's looking to do the damage. He's so fast. Oh, the support lines under the stacks. That is ridiculous. Bristol, bring the razzle and the dazzle. Try number two. We are far from done. Oh my. This is from their own 22. A big breakout down the right. And look at this little pop ball back. I think it was Maxi Boy Maimons there. Finding Vakazawa, that is insane. That is absolutely insane. How do you stop something like that? Ridiculous skills. Max Maylands with the pace. Away from the chase of Carreras. Sheedy pops it over. And we are in for, well, quite the finish now as well. They've been quite good. Have this Bristol side. We've seen bollocking runs from the likes of Sinclair. Genge as well. All the boys getting involved. Louis. I mean, this is a disaster out of defensive work at the moment, but that time, that time you get a little bit better out of it. Of course, that back row was very good. Magnus Bradbury is a phenomenally good player. And he has showed us up alongside Mr. Luatua as well. But we've got a chance here to put something back in our favour. Here's Vola Vola running the show from 10. Tries a little shimmy in a step, gets away with nothing. A lot of room out wide. Yeah, it's hard to get some water. And Tim Nero Williams! Oh, that is poor defense of the Bears! And Tim Nero Williams makes the pay! Good finish! Massive communication issues for Bristol there. Such a powerful midfield on attack, but Lewis on defense. No way through there. Bola Bola, but this was absolute confusion. No one out wide. And that link up there, Revolvo and Bakatawa defensively, they were nowhere to be found. And Max Mahalins, well that was where he could have been defending that one as well. Good try, we needed that. We really needed that, my word. Bristol were fighting their way back like a cat out of a paper bag. It was dangerous for us. But that should maybe stem the flow of points. I hope it does. Because that's ridiculous. Back to halfway. Right, lads. Settle it down. Settle it down. This game has gone from structure in the first half, and us dominating and cruising, to absolute just three for all. Oh, nice ball out to Tukalet. Over here he goes. Oh, he has fire for Vita. Look out the power. Imagine that. Luatora and Fafita. That would be an insane second row. He's ready. But a width on this one to Nahamba. Goes nowhere. Tafu are going to play scrum half, but it looks like he might lose the ball. Uh oh. Danger time. Here's Randall. Dangerous as well as Randall. And a bit of room and a break down the left hand side. This is very dangerous. Lewis Hill was right there, but cannot get his hands on the ball. Good tackle. And a turnover from Reddy as well. Alfoa is good. Throws it out desperately to Nano Williams. Bola Bola looks for another man. It's Canadis. Canadis all alone. Here we go. And Chip and Chase is going to wobble into touch. That's disappointing. The options were there, I tell you what. Canadis, though, all alone. A grab a kick, a stamp, a, a dink, something, but chose the wrong call. Definitely the pass was not on there. Throw comes in nicely in the middle, taken down from Bowie. And now, Bristol look wide. Oh no, the straight up. That's dangerous. We went wide. Looking for the breakout of Wakatsawa. Oh, John Alfoma. Outstanding. Kwama away for Hayson. He's all alone here. Pops it back nicely to Bola Bola. Numbers for Fita. What a try. What a play. What a finish from the Rejects. Fire for Vita and the big boys are showing how it's done. That was a good tackle from his quarter. And look at John Alfoa right there, right place, right time. Hayson, I don't know what he was doing out there, but Bola Bola, good little ball. Called the numbers, called the game plan. 
called the finish. Bye for Vita. Looks right at home in that kit, I tell you what. How good are this Bears team being though? Good little comeback there, which was kind of scary. A big together we rise banner in the background there. Let's try and knock that one out of the park. Yep, straight on it. Rip it to pieces. Rip it to shreds, Ben. We want none of that stuff. Although we have to go to their home. So we are at the home of Bristol to try and take this over. But you know what? 35 to 14. Woo! Breathe a sigh of relief. We were in trouble. I was even thinking of a drop goal. If we didn't get that gift of a try to Tim Nano Williams. I was thinking drop goal. This could be lost here. Jeez, I don't know how we got away with that. Right, let's get rid of this ball. Nano Williams, let's smoke it over here where there's no one. Damn it. Fullback's got there too quickly. That's a shame. Bristol got it back. Oh, no. Okay, then cut back to midfield. Oh, I'm confused. I'm dizzy. I don't know where the ball is. Randall. Go short. Okay, we've been, we've been beaten again. Uh oh, here we go. Oh, come on, come on, there's got to be a turnover. We're on that ball for three hours. Yeah, Lozana. Salto, no, it's got dropped backwards. Pavita picks up, he rumbles. Oh, no, we've lost that. That is terrible. Oh, the break through the guts. Here is Sinclair. Oh, the fan. Brilliant. This is Bristol at their best, I tell you what. Look who it is. Look who it is. It's Dolph. It's Dolph Luatoa. He's done it for the Bears, but it will be his final act. But poor old Vaya Fafita got absolutely isolated, just left alone in the dark. What a run from Sinclair. Support was there, brilliant throughout. Cut back to Luatilla. Superb finish. And the big man trundles in. Another Bears try. I mean, we've been good enough to win this game. But Bristol is showing they know how to score points as well. Defence, certainly optional tonight. Here's the conversion from Sheedy. There's the buzzer for full time. And it will be Stephen Luatilla, otherwise known as Dolph, who will be joining the Super Rugby Rejects. We're successful again. But I tell you what, that was a little bit scary, that one. And it just goes to show how easily and how quickly these other sides can pile on the points against the rejects who defensively, uh, maybe not as good as they should be. Max Valen's a great performance from him. I mean, not often you see people scorch away from Mateo Carreras, but he did exactly that. Two tries for Bakatawa, who was an absolute danger. Luatua, though, picked up the final say in his final act for the Bristol Bears. As for the rejects, so five tries. Normally, I'll be quite happy with that, but our defensive efforts were so poor. Our follower for Fita and Nano Williams grabbed one. That Tim Nano Williams try was an absolute game changer. The fact that there was no one there, we had three guys wide, that was the difference. If they could have shut that down, this result could have been different. Mateo Canetta's got two. First half tries, he was strong, he was good, and we liked everything about it. Jimmy Gopper suffered an injury. He will be fine for the next episode, do not worry. But Bola Bola came in to play 10, and uh, Chamberlain also got a little cameo as well. You know, when we build the depth of the squad up, we can rotate players a bit. So the chances that Bola Bola make it games at 10, if we've got someone to play fullback as well. When we get a bench, that's what will happen later on in the series. But for now, we're still trying to fill out that damn 15, aren't we? But this goes a long way to Adolfi is in. Yes, I can't believe that's his name. I'm going to have to confirm that for sure. Look at that game, though. Great from the rejects. 60% position. Bears come storming back into the second half. But not good enough, hey, to take out the rejects. Well, a little bit of research has been done on the full name of Mr. Luatour. And it seems everyone is in agreement. I'm talking things like Ultimate Rugby. I'm talking like Rugby Database, uh, ESPN. Uh, of course, Wikipedia is not 100% we know. Um, but, hey, everyone is calling him. Dolph Steven Luatua. I love it. I, I want to change his name. I, I We have to change his name. Dude, Dolph Steven Luatua. It's, it's going to happen. And let's get him in the team, though. And uh, let's make that change. Oh, what a team we've got. What a, Look how far down I've got to go. All these losers can go. Right, let's get him in. Let's get that right. Uh, let's spell it right. Luatua. Brilliant. Oh, we've got to call him Dolph. 
In you come. So again, back row, six slash eight slash anywhere, kind of say second row as well. I am going to use him for now in at six. He's going to go in at six for Hayson, but uh, probably in another couple of episodes, we will be grabbing ourselves another second rower. And I tell you what, this guy, I think is going to be really, really good. I've got so many names I want to bring in, but I'm thinking there might be a change here that we'll see a player like Talfua, who I think is really an open side flanker more than a blind side flanker. So, okay, Robbie Challenge, you can go away. Lazana could go to six, and I have a, a big number eight. A really big, good number eight that I want to bring into this team. I think next episode we're going to go for our scrum half. We had a good suggestion a couple of videos ago we're going to run with. And then the big number eight. And then the team will be full. We can put Vi Fafita to four. Uh, we can put Lua Tua into five. And we can roll out with Talfua moving to, to the open side. Lazana to the blind side. And this new man to number eight. Uh, this new man... If you want to really guess, if you want to go early, is at Bordeaux. And I tell you what, there is a stack of players I want from Bordeaux. But he might be the first one on my list. Also, next episode. If you check the comments, you'll know. But we're off to the Sharks. We're off to take on South Africa. A real reject, but a phenomenal player I just have to have on this team. So I'll see you all for it next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. Here is a little bit of at what's... Uh, oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Mr. Luatua looks like, but before we go, uh, wait, two seconds. I'm sorry, it just had to be done. It just had to be done. No one comes along here with a name like Dolph Steven Luatua. I mean, all the years he played here, I didn't know his name was Dolph. But Dolph is in, and he is going to be, he, he's the icon now. He is the icon. Hey, he may as well be the bloody captain with a name like that. But Dolph is in, here's how he looks, 86 rated, he's really actually good. A uh, phenomenal player. Not the fastest, but his power game is exceptional. He's going to be a great asset to this team. Second row, back row, it does not matter. We are versatile, and we're only going to get better. I'll see you next episode. Until then, though, thanks for watching, and welcome to the Rejects. Dolph, ha-ha, <laughs> Stephen Luatua. Take care.